Yep. Yep. Okay, I think we'll we'll give it a go. <clears throat> So welcome to our crib service, a last minute change to our plans as we're now online and I really do thank everybody involved, especially the children for their last minute adjustments. And we've come together to celebrate the story of the birth of Jesus. But before we begin, we've got a video of Zander lighting the candle and on the service sheet, there's some words that you can reply with. Today we remember the today we remember Jesus and the story of his birth. Jesus the King. Christ is the light of the world. Jesus the way. With Jesus, even the darkest places are light. Jesus the truth. Jesus' eyes will live forever. Jesus the light. And we're going to come start with our very first carol, um, A Little Town of Bethlehem. Debbie's going to play. Um, and because, um, as we said before we started recording, that Zoom is absolutely rubbish for keeping us all together, it would sound awful if we were singing along. So we're going to mute ourselves to sing, and which will mean that you are, unfortunately won't hear any words. But do, do please join in. a bit of a treat for you all today as we look at our Christmas story. It's a story called With Love from God to You. I'd like to introduce you to a special person tonight. Our host, the Earth. Ah. <laughs> Hello, Earth. I, will you give us a spin? All oh, right. Yes, I can see the green for the land and the blue for the sea. <laughs> so how do you like my blue oceans and my green lands? God did make a good job of me when he made me way back in the beginning. And that's where today's story, the Christmas story, starts in the beginning. But first, I'm going to need some help from all of you. We're going to say some words that we need you to join in with an action. Okay, so when Nikki says love or loved, I want you to put your hands on your heart. Okay, and when she says listen, cup your ear. When she says friend or friendship, wave to somebody. And when she says big hug, 
you can give yourself a big hug, unless you've got a bad shoulder. <laughs> In case you can do it with one hand, big hug. So let's have a practice of that then. So love. Good. Listen. Friend. And big hug. Right, well done, everybody, young and old, well done. And also, just keep your eye open because Mike might hold up some words for you to shout out. Okay, in the beginning, when my sea sparkled and everything was clean and new, God made Adam and Eve, the first human beings. They were wonderful. God gave them minds to know him, hearts to love him, and ears to listen to his voice. Guess how much I love you, said God, all the way round my planet Earth. Well, that's a very long way. I should know. In fact, God loved Adam and Eve so much that he made them a beautiful garden. He told them that they could eat the fruit from any tree except one. Mike, you just might need to hold it off. Not that one. Uh -huh. If you eat the fruit from that tree, you will die, he said. He wanted to keep them safe, you see. So Adam and Eve enjoyed the garden. And I wonder if the children here that's here to help, you can pretend you're doing some gardening, some digging. God was their best friend. And every day was perfect but not for long. Somebody wanted to spoil their happiness and that somebody was God's enemy. Boo! Ooh, hiss! Guess why God didn't let you eat that special fruit, the crafty snake said. He knows it will make you as clever as him. Go on, try it! You won't really die. Eve gazed at the fruit. How scrumptious it looked. How delicious it would taste. Yum, yum. yum. How stupendous to become so clever. She took a bite. And so did Adam. How ashamed and miserable they felt. And they tried to hide from God. Can you pretend to hide? You'd better leave the garden if you think you know better than me, God told them sadly. Now work will be back breaking. And when you grow old, you will die. Oh dear. One friendship broken. Snap. Those human beings spoiled everything when they disobeyed God. Nasty thistles and thorns grew in my lovely soil. Ouch! And still worse, the children of those humans started fighting and hurting each other and me. Crash, bang, wallop. What would become of them? But God said, don't worry, planet Earth. I have an awesome plan to rescue them. I'm going to send my own son to be born as a tiny baby. Yes, I was puzzled too. How could a tiny baby help? God explained. Two kind people called Mary and Joseph from King David's family would look after him. Now, I think there's a couple of people that have brought Mary and Joseph. Do you want to hold them up? Thank oh. you. When he grows up, he will give the world a big hug from me. God said that his son would remind the humans to love him with all their heart and to listen to his voice every day. Then they would overflow with his peace. I spun with excitement. Woo! I couldn't wait for God's little world saver to be born. Well, I watched 
and I waited for hundreds of years and still those human beings went astray, just like a flock of sheep. <laughs> but at last, I felt the light touch of an angel's step at Mary's house in Nazareth. So if there's any Marys or Josephs or angels, please stand up. Don't be afraid, Mary, said the angel Gabriel. Guess how much God loves you. Loves you. So much that he wants to give you the mother of his baby son. Please give him the name Jesus, because that means God saves. Mary was so happy that she burst into song of praise to God. It was music to my ears, I can tell you. But when Joseph heard the incredible news, he shook his head. Can you all shake your head? Could it really be true? That night, as he tossed and he turned in his bed, an angel whispered in his dream. So if there's any angels, pretend to whisper. Joseph, hear what Mary says, for every word is true. This baby is a gift from God. So Joseph married Mary and he took great care of her. But just when the baby was due to be born, crash, bang, wallop. A Roman soldier marched down the street. Can you march like a soldier? The emperor had announced the census, he shouted. Everyone must go to their home to be counted. So Mary and Joseph set off on their long journey to Bethlehem because that's where Joseph's family came from. Now, I think we have a donkey. If anyone else has got a donkey, you can pretend to ride on it. It's a dog, really. <laughs> when they arrived in Bethlehem, the town was heaving with all the visitors. It was busy. It was buzzing. Buzz, buzz. In fact, it was bursting at the seams and there was no room at the inn. Poor Mary and Joseph. Where were they going to stay? Only God knew that someone kind would say, I can give you a shelter for the night, if you don't mind my animals. And so Jesus was born in that simple place. And I think we have a baby Jesus, don't we? Maisie, hold up baby Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Mary wrapped the little bundle of love and laid him in the animal's manger. And I cradled the sleeping baby and I began to dream of peace on earth. In the fields nearby, some shepherds were watching over their sheep and trying to keep them from safe from hungry lions and bears. Ah, ah, ah. Then suddenly an angel appeared. Let's have the angels suddenly appearing again. Sparkling with heavenly glory, that angel was light, white, eye blinkingly bright. And those shepherds were terrified. Can you all be terrified? Um. <gasps> Don't be afraid, said the angel. Guess how much God loves you. Loves you. A saviour who is Christ the Lord has been born for you. Today in Bethlehem, you will find the baby all wrapped up and lying in a manger. Then a great choir of angels sang. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. So the curious shepherds, have we got any shepherds? Stand up if you're a shepherd, or if you're a shepherd at home, stand up. They hurried to Bethlehem. Can you all hurry like a shepherd? And they found Mary and Joseph, hold up any Mary and Josephs, and the baby, hold up the baby, lying in a manger. It was just as the angel had said. Then God hung a magnificent star in the eastern sky. 
It glowed like a birthday candle. It was light. It was light. It was eye blinkingly bright. No wonder some of the wise men spotted it. Have we got any wise men? Come on to screen, that's it. Ah. Look, can you look? Everyone can look. This is the sign that the great new king has been born, they cried. Let's pack our camels, saddlebags and rich gifts. You got your gift ready? Oh, wow. and worship the king. How their eyes shone as they followed the guiding star. It went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where Jesus was staying. Oh, king of kings, we worship you. Can we all do some worship? Mm -hmm. They bowed down and offered him their precious gifts, royal gold, sweet smelling nose tickling frankincense and myrrh. You might need to hold it the other way, Mike. Oh, just testing you. <laughs> ah, gold, frankincense and myrrh. What a lovely scene. But now I couldn't wait for Jesus to grow up and help the humans to love God again and to listen to his voice. And that's just what Jesus did. Then he did something even more wonderful. He lifted every wrong thing that anyone has ever done onto his own broad shoulders and carried them right away. Anyone who is truly sorry will be forgiven. Anyone who wants to can be friends with God forever. So let's celebrate our Jesus, our saviour. The baby is a gift. With love from God to you. Yeah. I'm going to have another camel now. We're going to sing Away in the Manger. So if you want to mute yourselves. <laughs> Debbie for playing for us um, and we now got some prayers that Pipe is going to read to us so if you want to just bow your heads Jesus whose mother was Mary we pray for our families as we celebrate celebrate Jesus's birthday together Lord Jesus here are our prayers Jesus cradled in a manger. We pray for other people who have no home that they might find shelter. Lord Jesus, hear our Jesus, sharing the stable with the animal. We thank you for the world around us. Help us to look after it. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Jesus worshipped by shepherds and kings. We pray 
for different people in the world that we would learn to live in peace today. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Jesus, our Emmanuel, we pray for all those people. Oh, we pray for all those who are ill or sad that they would know God with them. Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 And we're going to finish with the Lord's Prayer. If you want to join in with me, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of our first Zoom crib service. We hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, a safe Christmas, a little bit different this year, but still a very special time of the year. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki.